Exodus chapter 22, verse 9. If a man deliver to his neighbor all ox or a sheep or any animal to keep, if he is to keep it without recompense and it die, or be torn by wild beasts, or be carried off, and no witness seeing who can testify it, an oath of Yahweh shall be between them both that he has not put forth his hand upon the property of his neighbor. And the owner of the thing shall accept his oath and shall not be required to make it good. So this is the first level. This is the first layer. We're going to build this cake. So here's the first layer. So it says, one, I, I bring you my property, sheep, ox, whatever. And I say, okay, take care of this for me. And I'm not paying you to do it. So you just take, no, no, go ahead, brother. I got you. And it die or be torn by wild beasts or be carried off. And nobody who can see it testify it. We're going to make an oath in the name of the Most High. that You, uh, you didn't do nothing. In the name of the Most High, I didn't do nothing. That's it. It's good. I'm done. Oh, yeah. It gets deep, brother. Because now the Most High is involved in this. So now... The Most High is going, he sees all, so he's going to start making it reveal itself to the light. So he's going to make a revelation. Now, if it's, of course, it, it, it is what you say it is, that's it. We good. We ain't nothing to worry about. It's just one sheep, one ox, whatever. It's good. All right? Now I'm going to continue on. Let's add some more layers to this. But if it be stolen from him who was to receive recompense for the care, he shall make it good to the owner. Next layer. So if I paid you to take care of it and something happened to it, you got to give me back my money. You got to make it good. If it had been torn by a wild beast, let him bring witnesses or bring him the carcass because for that which is torn, he shall not make restitution. So if a hyena jumps on it, there's hyenas here in the land, you know, or a cascal, which is a wild, like a wild, like cat, you know, and they jump on the, the sheep or whatever. Okay, you don't make restitution for that. That 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 the other animals had to eat. They ate one. All right, so you don't you don't have to do that. Okay. So it gave you the next two layers of that. And if a man borrow anything of his neighbor. And the vessel be broken, or the animal die, the owner be not with it, lie shall certainly make it good. So, if you borrow something, no matter what happens to it, you have to make it good. If you borrow, you asked for it, like I need something, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this happened to it while it was in my care, I have to make it good. Right? If the owner be with it, he shall not make it good. If it had been lent for profit, its loss came on account of its hire. Okay? So if I lend you something to, for you to make money on, and its loss came on account of its hire, then I don't make it good on that one, you see, because it was doing what it was supposed to do and it just died in, in the process. Okay? So... If I borrow a drill and and I'm drilling the wall and the drill burn out, not that I'm doing nothing wrong. It was a new bit. It's new everything. I'm working it properly. Just it just died. It's old already. You used it. Now I'm using it and it's not working. So now we have this. We just, all right, let's let that be. It was a lint on account of his hire. I was using it to build or you know, make some money. I was working on construction site or something. All right. So that's a different situation, but the law keeps building upon its situation. So it says, if the owner be with it, he shall not make it good if it had been lent for profit. So if you lent it to me and I gave it back to you and you use it, okay, it's done. All right. Now I'm going to stop this video and we're going to start with Exodus 22 and 15. Ooh, y'all not going to like this. You're going to love it.